one, got him one. Got him one. Got him one. The second disc in the 80-20 score series is, is titled um, Head to Toe Scoring. And um, one of the things that, that I wanted to really focus on in this DVD uh, to begin with was um, just warming up properly. So I have a couple of warm-ups that I want you to include in, into your uh, off-season program. Go. Once you're comfortable, I'm going to start Go. going from side to side. Go. So crossover, Go. tap, crossover. Tap. Go. Crossover. Tap. Go. Good job. Keep that Go. head up. See the ball at the corner Go. of your eye. Maintain your Go. dribble. Alright. Now we're going to add two cones to this drill. We're starting off with our crossover dribble. We're going to slide down the one cone and come right back. We're staying low. We're touching that wall. And we're switching up our dribble Go. moves. Now we're going between the legs. All the way. Now we're going to take it the other way between the legs. Go. What you want to focus on is touching that wall each time. This is going to increase your hand speed. But more importantly, footwork. Um, I, I'm a firm believer that everything, when you talk about the 20% that's physical, everything starts with the feet. I mean, you can't perform any moves. I mean, you get in, involved in situations where you may travel. And um, overall, if you don't have good core, it, it just shows. So I wanted to concentrate on that because the, the feet are very important as it pertains to scoring and, and separating from the defense and things like that. For two solid dribbles, step, pull back. Two dribbles, step, pull back. I can tell you without hesitation that this move is bound to get some oohs and ahs from the crowd, especially when you perform it from the wing. Someone thinks you're going baseline. So with the footwork, I want you to start there real close in the paint. And we're going to perform and a lot of these moves and, and that I'm going to ask you to, to do later on in the DVD and also in um, the next DVD, which is uh, Unstoppable. And um, I want you to stay right there in the paint because it allows you to focus on your feet and not just your jump shot. Essentially, this is a double crossover. You got your setup cross, and you got your real crossover. See, the setup cross is basically to evaluate what your defender is going to do. If he stays there, you can just blow past him with a hesitation like you did before. But if he leans that way, you can cross him over and leave the crowd oohing and on. If you're performing moves from three-point range, you, you're going to concentrate on getting that ball up. So you're going to sacrifice your footwork to get the ball up. So I want to make sure that that's not even an issue. We're right there and we're, we're working on our footwork and our moves. Um, and then we're going to come on out. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some dynamic drills um, that involve just you becoming a triple threat. Not necessarily from the triple threat position, but you becoming a triple threat being that you can shoot, uh, you can pass, or you can dribble. Now that we're comfortable with our stationary ball handling and passing, now we gotta get moving a little bit. We're going hard to the right elbow, just keeping our head up, seeing the open cutter, passing the ball and shooting. The whole key and focus to this drill is keeping your head up. A lot of times in today's game, a lot of kids, they dribble with their head down, they can't see the floor, they're limiting their options. This one, we're exercising all three options. The dribble, pass, and the shot. Now we're working our way to the other side. Going left, coming back right. Open guy, shot. All right. So a lot of a lot of guys get into the gym and, and there's a difference between um, quantity and quality when you're talking about working out. Uh, quantity just involves hours in the gym. I mean, you know, I, I firmly believe in going the extra mile and, and putting in that work and putting in the hours, but there, there's insight that has to go with that. I mean, you have to have some type of efficient plan when you're working out and you're not just at the gym all day because, see what it will, a lot of times what happens is 
A guy say, okay, I put in eight hours a day and I feel good about himself, but what did you work on? What did you accomplish? You know, what areas of your game got better that day? And, and with these dynamic um, triple threat drills, uh, I'm gonna put you through a set of drills that's gonna work on your passing, your jump shot, and your ball handling all at the same time. So we're, we're basically killing three birds with one stone and um, just becoming more efficient, you know. So when you when you put in work in that in that gym, you're not gonna have more options. And um, especially if you're working out with somebody else, and you know that, that, that you can actually pass the ball to and, and perform these, these different types of drills. So it's very important that you focus on quality and not just quantity. You know, I want you to put the work in the gym, but I want to do quality work. You know, if, if you're going for two hours or even an hour, it has you have to maximize your time, and that's what, what these um, dynamic drills are going to do for you. So the head-to-toe scoring, that's what it's all about. It's um, it's starting right there with that footwork, you getting your footwork right, and you're working it all the way out to to some drills that that are really going to you know, push you and challenge you. So that's that's head-to-toe scoring. Thank <laughs> you.